Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, welcome to the eighth and final week of the Pantry and Freezer Challenge. I really appreciate everyone who has been hanging there, hanging in there with me while I have worked my way through my pantry and freezer. Let me show you what I'm making for dinner today. I had some fresh broccoli from my weekly produce pickup, so I'm gonna stir fry that. And for Christmas, my parents sent Howard and I some Omaha steaks, but there we got steaks and pork and all sorts of things. So we are making these fillets tonight. They are bacon wrapped fillets. Howard's gonna throw them on the grill. He's gonna use this seasoning, which is what came with the box. Uh, also, during my weekly produce picked up, I found these mushrooms on clearance. I'm gonna wash them up and slice them and add them to this prepared rice pilaf mix. I may add some shredded carrots in there as well, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and I will be back in a second. Okay, so here is our dinner and these steaks smell so good. The rice pilaf, I just decided to add some green onions and mushrooms. I decided against the carrots. And then again, I just stir fried some, stir fried some broccoli. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making quesadillas. I have this beef fajita meat in my freezer. As you can see, I got it on sale a long time ago from Tom Thumb, so it was half off of that $5.49. And I always have flour tortillas because Howard likes to use them. And then I've got some cheddar cheese that I grated for another meal. It's leftover. Got some sour cream and some um, salsa. So let's get started. Okay, so here are my super easy quesadillas. I am serving it with some black beans, rice, and this is Howard's plate, so he's got some avocado on there. Uh, when we get to the table, we're going to add our salsa and sour cream. I seasoned the, these are canned beans, by the way, canned black beans, and I seasoned them with this ham bouillon. I used two cans of black beans. I put probably like a quarter cup of water, and then I also used this garlic and herb salt-free seasoning. Um, this ham bouillon is really good. I know some people don't eat pork, but maybe they like the flavor of ham. Just an FYI, there is real ham in here, so there's ham fat, and I think there's some um, actual ham um, in there as well. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, eating from our freezer, we are having this chicken chow mein that I brought a long, bought a long time ago, along with these Taiwanese green onion pancakes, also from Trader Joe's that I bought a long time ago. Have not tried them yet. Trader Joe's has another type of pancake. I can't remember. Maybe green onion, maybe scallion or something. I don't remember. Um, so I've tried that one, but never this one. This one I heard is really, really good. Of course, that is Harrison in the background. But normally when I make this chicken chow mein, I usually add some fresh broccoli to kind of bulk it up a little bit. Didn't have any of that, so I used about a quarter of a head of cabbage. Tried to cut it in thin strips. I've got some oil in the bottle of in the bottom of the pan and then I added some garlic salt to it. So I am going to use cabbage to bulk up the chow mein this time around. So I'll be back. So the lo mein is finished and I'm getting ready to start on these pancakes. And I just opened them and wanted to show you all what they look like because I was not expecting that. This is what they look like. So, oops. Um, a lot of calories in here. I think there's like 350 calories and the box says you can eat them alone or as a meal. So I don't know if these are gonna puff up or not, but we'll see. But I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like when you open the little package. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. Howard and I tasted the green onion pancake it's good, we both can't put our finger on the texture. It's not quite like or tortilla. It's also 
kind of like non a little bit but not really it's hard to describe but I do like it it's it's kind of dense uh, let me show you it's flat but it's dense if that makes any sense you can see the little layers in there but it's pretty good it's not bad at all so anyway this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time so for dinner tonight i made a big salad there is tons of stuff in there there is ham and chicken and bacon and shredded carrots cheese uh, Swiss and cheddar cheese and this is my bowl showing it to you because I added some of the uh, crispy um, wontons on there I really like them a lot and so I am going to be using this Asian salad dressing I always forget that I have it in the fridge and then Howard's gonna be using some um, um, Olive Garden so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time so for dinner tonight, we are having smothered ribs. I made these, I don't know, maybe a couple of months ago and Howard and I really liked them a lot. The first time I made them, I baked them in the oven and they were absolutely delicious. This time I tried them in the crock pot and they are not as good as um, they were in the oven. Um, the gravy doesn't get as thick and it's just not the same. It doesn't get that same browning on it. So next time I make it, make these ribs, I will definitely bake them. Um, but I am serving the ribs with some rice and also some fried cabbage. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.